we are going to see about the 2D array. So what is a 2D array guys? A 2D array has two dimensions, typically rows and columns. So when I say rows and columns, you can imagine a Excel. Just imagine this rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 2, 3 is first row, your second row and third row. Similar way you have columns. This is one column, 1, 4, 7 is column. This is another column, this is another column. So 2D array means which has rows and columns. Then how do you declare this? To declare a 2D array, all you have to use within the parenthesis, use a comma. And then the index number of this starts from zero. I am going to explain everything. Let's first of all go to Visual Basics and start declaring a 2D array. How do you do it? I will type dim and let's give some name. For example, I'll say table. And within parenthesis, if you don't put a comma, this becomes a simple array, single array, single dimensional array. If I put a comma, what happens? This becomes a two dimensional array, 2D array. 2D array means it has rows and columns, just like an Excel. Now, here what I'm going to do, I'm going to declare, okay, you have declared the variable. Now, what should be the data type? Is it a string? Is it going to be integer? I'm going to keep it as integer. All right. And then you have to use an equals to symbol. How you declare an array? You use curly braces. When there are multiple values, you are using curly braces. Now within the curly braces, how would you declare rows and columns? See, there are multiple values in one row. We saw it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for that, all you do again use one more curly braces inside this and then type your values. So what is that? 1, 2, 3. So the first row we have written. Then once you have written the first row, use a comma and then write your second row. Again curly braces, 4, 5, 6. Done. Similar way, once this row is complete, use one more comma, curly braces and then here you will write 7, 8, 9. That's all. Now, this doesn't look like the Excel rows and table. So, what you can do just to make it appear proper, keep your mouse pointer here, hit enter. And then after the comma, I'll hit enter. And again, after this comma, I'll hit enter. So what happened now? Now it looks more like, I'll put one more enter here. So now it looks like rows and columns. You get a view of it. Next, we need to know how to print, how to print any value. For example, if I ask you, can you print one? from the 2D array. Now for this, this concept is very important. Let me show you the notepad. In the notepad, I said something about indexing. Indexing means position number. VB.NET arrays are zero based, meaning that indexing starts from zero. Generally, we count one, two, three, four, five, right? We start from one. But here, the index number always starts from zero. So what does that mean? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is your 0th row. This is your 1st row. This is your 2nd row. This is your 0th column. This is your 1st column. This is your 2nd column. Now if I ask you, what is the position of 1? It is available in the 0th row and 0th column. Now with this concept, let's go back to Visual Basic and try to print this. Let me type message box dot show and within the parenthesis, first we have to use the variable table because table variable contains it and again use parenthesis. 
the rule is you have to first write the position of row so row position is 0 comma then you have to write the position of column which is 0 so in 0 row and 0 column what is available 1 is available let us print it so if you see if i'm going to run it the output that has come is 1 now the concept should be clear let's say if i ask you what is the position of 2 so it is in 0th row and 1st column 0 and 1st so what i will do instead of here i will say 0 and 1 so the first position is for the row it is still in the 0th row but the column number has changed to 1 if i am going to run this then you can see it has printed 2 this time let me ask you one more question let's say i would like to print 8 what should be the position you tell me so count from 0 1 2 so the position number of 8 where it is available the row count is 2 and in which column it exists 0 1 so it exists in the 1 column so now if i'm going to print it the output should give me 8 simple so all you have to do is remember this way you have to count from 0 1 2 0 1 2 and let's say if i wanted to print 6 so what is the position of the row 1 what is the position of the column 2 so if i write 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 and try to print this what is the output that i am going to expect this time 6